Greetings, adventurers! Following the end of the morning light, the official season has come to Black Desert Mobile. Are you having fun so far? This is CM Akash, and I will go over the changes that have been made between the official season and the preseason. Topics that are not covered in this video will be identical to the preseason. If you're curious about certain topics that are not mentioned in this video, please check the info card located below to check our very first guide video. Alright, shall we start on how to create a seasoned character? You can create your seasoned character by pressing the seasoned character button on the character creation menu. Adventurers who want to have a seasoned character but have already completed the preseason must create a new character again. If you aren't able to create more characters, you can purchase a character slot expansion coupon from the per shop to create one. If you already have 27 characters, which is the max, you must delete one in order to create a new character. You can expand your family by increasing the roster up to a maximum of 27 slots done so by purchasing a character slot expansion coupon in the per shop for 120 black pearls. Before, there was a 24 hour grace period after selecting a character for deletion. However, this grace period has now been greatly reduced from 24 hours to 5 minutes. Just one sec, are some adventurers unable to delete their characters? If so, make sure to check if there are any equipped items that are displayed in character info. After confirming this is the case, deleting the item should fix the issue. As it can be the case that you may have forgotten to check if you have any items in the character tab of the per inventory, make sure to check this if character deletion doesn't seem to be working. As a reminder, you don't have to delete items that are shared by your family, such as the emblem and any life stones equipped on your first slate. Once your character or that character's items have been deleted, they cannot be restored, so take due caution before deciding. Now that you have created a character, you may now proceed to completing the Season Pass quest. Now, let's take a look on how the official Season Pass is different this time. Shall we take a look? This time, the Season Pass quests have been renewed. While only Medea Knowledge EXP scrolls could be obtained in the last preseason, Valencia Knowledge EXP scrolls have been added this time around. When you use Knowledge EXP scrolls, you will obtain Knowledge EXP for that region. This increases your knowledge level, which will lead to more CP. Also, the quest related to entering Resonating Beach has been made simpler by switching the order of the quests. You can obtain more materials in Resonating Beach to enhance your season character's gear, such as Tuvala enhancement materials, Tuvala accessories, and other items needed to complete the season. As you can see from the screen, you can move straight to the map by tapping the icon and then tapping Resonating Beach. You can also move to the map by tapping North Calpheon on the world map and then tapping Resonating Beach. You can enter using Tuvala Scroll by purchasing them from the Rift Watcher NPC located at the entrance of Resonating Beach. These quests have been moved closer to the beginning so that you can grow faster and have more fun. We've added more boss related quests for better accessibility. As you progress through boss rush and constellation content, your knowledge level of that boss and your CP will increase. With an increase in boss knowledge level comes greater rewards including black pearls, ancient gold coins, Adana's coins, dark coins, and more. Increasing knowledge level also rewards you with more CP. There's more! A mystical grade outfit story quest has been added. Outfits are another way to increase your CP. Click the go to button on the season pass quest and after creating and equipping the mystical grade outfit, the next quest should be completed.
you can upgrade an epic grade outfit into a mystical grade outfit. Before crafting, equipping the epic grade outfit you receive as a season pass quest reward will allow you to progress through the Ankarosia's outfit shop story, which must be completed before you craft your mystical grade outfit. If you've completed the story, then try crafting a mystical outfit. Unequip the epic grade outfit first, then move the item from the wardrobe to the per inventory. Now you're all set. Go to Isabel and Karoshia and tap Upgrade Outfit. Then choose the Epic Grade Outfit from the Pearl Inventory. You can craft a Mystical Grade Outfit by using Artisan Skein or 50,000 Wild Grass and 100 million Silver. Once you are finished crafting your mystical outfit, try upgrading your outfit for additional stats. Wait, are you out of Artisan Skein? Artisan Skein can be obtained through the Incarocious Outfit Shop Story and Season Pass rewards. But you can also get them by going to NPC Isabel and Carocia and tailoring unique, epic, and mystical outfits by tapping Tailor Outfit as shown on the screen. Collect Artisan Skeins to upgrade your outfits and increase your CP. In the latest preseason, the Blazing Chaos Crystals were available to use on the Rift Zone up to level 150. This season, we're making them usable on Rift Stones up to level 200. Blazing Chaos Crystals will increase your Rift Stone level by 1. Making them usable up to level 200 will help raise your CP even faster. Since the amount of obtainable Blazing Chaos Crystals from Season Pass quests have been increased by 50, you should be able to reach level 200 on your Rift Stone easily by just progressing through the Season Pass. The hassle of having to enhance Vala accessories manually one by one is now gone. Like other gear, you can now auto-enhance accessories. Select the target enhancement level and set restoration settings, then tap auto-enhance. Now you'll be able to enhance without any hassle. However, the auto-enhance feature on accessories are only available at Black Spirit level 130 or higher. Increase your Black Spirit level to unlock the Auto Enhance button. In the official season, you'll be able to exchange season items remaining after enhancing gear. You can also disassemble them for more material. You will see a new season tab when you open up the menu and go to the craft menu. Let's start by checking out the exchange tab. You can use 50 Tuvala Black Crystals to exchange for a Tuvala Accessory Selection Chest, a Tuvala Relic Selection Chest, or a Tuvala Lucky Stone Chest. Lastly, the Tuvala Totem Chest can be exchanged for Tuvala Black Crystals. You can also disassemble items for more Tuvala Black Crystals. You can obtain 10 Tuvala Black Crystals by disassembling Tuvala Accessories, Tuvala Relics, or Tuvala Lucky Stone. You can obtain 2 Tuvala Black Crystals by disassembling Tuvala Totem and Crystallized Tuvala Totem. You can now exchange completely enhanced and awakened Tuvala items for other Tuvala items or disassemble them to enhance more gear. The long-awaited completion rewards for adventurers. What changes have there been? Season completion gift chest, season completion alchemy stone chest, season completion relic chest, and season completion totem chest can be obtained the same way as they were in the preseason. For the official season, you can also receive a dazzling completion certificate. As written on the screen, you can exchange it from Igor Vartali in Velia for a special season completion reward.
Let's try an exchange right now. As I hand in the Dazzling Completion Certificate to Igor Bartali, an exchange window pops up which lets me exchange it for either a Perilla Star or a Brilliant Primal Glyph. Adventurers who have already received Perilla Star from the preseason can only exchange to a Brilliant Primal Glyph. Adventurers who did not complete the preseason or didn't proceed with the season can still choose to exchange for one of the two items. Almost forgot. As we mentioned during the Hydro Ball, the Brilliant Primal Glyph given as the Season Completion Reward will have the maximum possible stats. You can greatly increase your CP by imbuing this Glyph to a Relic. Don't forget to receive and imbue the Glyph. One more thing, you can receive various rewards from the Season Completion Gift Chest that is given to adventurers who have completed the Season. Let's take a closer look at the Emblem of Glory. The Primal Grade Emblem of Glory was a difficult item for new adventurers to obtain. Now, you can receive one just by completing the season. Once you enhance your equipped Emblem of Glory and its gemstones, your CP will greatly increase. Don't forget to use them. So, without further ado, let's take a look and see all of the official season completion rewards. You can receive Perula Star or Brilliant Primal Glyph, which can be received by exchanging the Dazzling Completion Certificate, a full 6 pieces of plus 6 Chaos Weapons and Armor, a full set of plus 4 Chaos Accessories, and 23 Dimensional Crystal Chests that can be equipped on Weapons and Armor. You will also receive 1,800 Dimensional Fragments and 18 million Magical Residues for enchantment. Then you get 10 Crimson Crowns to be sold for a good amount of silver, a plus 10 Primal Rift Totem to raise your CP and stats, a plus 6 Savior Rift Totem, a plus 6 Unity Rift Totem, and a plus 6 Wrathful Rift Totem that can be combined with a Primal Rift Totem. Season 10 Emblem of Glory, 14,100 badges of glory that can be used to enhance a Season 10 Emblem of Glory and 30 Tuss's Breath for enhancing gemstones. All 4 types of plus 4 Primal Relics, 10 Mystical Unknown Glyphs, 1 plus 7 Primal Critical Enhanced Alchemy Stone, and 1 plus 7 Primal Lucky Stone. Last but not least, Here's a character growth tip for this official season by CA Makash. Let's get to it right now. We have seen official season update editions, the new class Choryong, the land of the morning light, the beautiful and mysterious new realm set in Korea's Joseon era, the mountain of eternal winter with freezing snowstorms and cute alpacas and cool reindeers. New adventurers who are starting with the official season character can enjoy the Land of the Morning Light and the Mountain of Eternal Winter. As you complete the missions for the To the Land of the Morning Light and To the Mountain of Eternal Winter events, you can receive Legacy of Tvala Chess helpful for your season character. If you're working on your season character and are curious about the Land of the Morning Light and Mountain of Eternal Winter stories, feel free to jump right in. Season characters for this official season will be available after the scheduled maintenance on September 26, Tuesday, 2023 to the scheduled maintenance on December 12. Please refer to the details on the official season provided on the Black Desert Mobile official forum. If you have any questions while enjoying your adventure, please ask us through our Black Desert Mobile official forum, Discord, or by commenting on our official YouTube channel. Our CMs and GMs are always ready to help. We hope you enjoy your Black Desert Mobile adventure. See you next time, adventurers!